530, we are learning what led up to a San Diego State student being killed after tailgating at a football game. Jasmine Matarang was fatally struck by a car while crossing the A near what was then Qualcomm Stadium back in September. 10 News reporter Travis Rice has a look at the medical examiner's report and a timeline of the events just released today. Jasmine Matarang's final moments were fueled by alcohol, according to the county medical examiner. Autopsy results released Wednesday report the 20-year-old's blood alcohol content was 0.29, more than three times the legal limit for drivers in California. The San Diego State student was struck by a driver September 16th while she was crossing I-8 near Qualcomm Stadium during an Aztec game. Matarang was pronounced dead before they could take her to the hospital. In the same report, investigators provide more of a timeline for how the engineering student ended up on the freeway at night. A friend interviewed by CHP said she and Matarang got ready and had eight shots of Captain Morgan before taking the trolley to Qualcomm Stadium. Matarang and her sorority sister were together at the SDSU Stanford game, but then became separated at approximately 6 p.m. Investigators say Matarang took several Ubers and Lyfts by herself, with her last requested ride ending on Stadium Way near the Waring Road off-ramp at I-8. At approximately 7.30 that night, a 911 caller reported seeing a woman sitting on the side of the Waring Road off-ramp, and CHP was dispatched to find her. However, by 8 p.m. it was too late. The report says the driver tried to avoid Matarang, but could not stop. Investigators still aren't sure why Matarang walked out onto the freeway. It's also unknown if she canceled her last ride share or why she went on to the off-ramp in the first place. Reporting in the newsroom, Travis Rice, 10 News. Yeah.